And here are the teams, India led by skipper Mohammad Azruddin. The batting will be opened by Sachin Tendulkar and Ajay Jadeja. A solid middle order, Siddhu, Azruddin, Dravid, Manjreka and wicketkeeper batsman Nayan Mongia. The four bowlers for India, Srinath, Kumble, Vedya and Venkatpati Raju. The Pakistan side is led by Amir Sohail and he also opens the batting with Saeed Anwar. The middle order comprising Ramiz Raja, Salim Malik, Intamam Haq, Ijaz Ahmed and keeper Rashid Latif. The bowling led by Vakar Yunus and Atif Javid, followed by the spinners Saklain Mushtaq and Mushtaq Ahmed. India won the toss and put Pakistan into bat. Let's join our commentators with the very first ball of the day. So the first ball of the Pepsi Cup about to be bowled. It's going to be Ame Sohail to face and the cheers of the crowd become a roar as Sirinath comes in. And Sohail's beaten by that ball which moved away. So action right from the start and this game coming alive. A beautiful delivery to get first up for Ame Sohail. See there, pitched around middle and leg stump, bit of movement off the seam. Opening up Sohail, in fact beating him all ends up. Beautiful delivery. And this time it's through mid-wicket. Azhar will be chasing that. They've gone through for one. And that's the first run for Pakistan. Well, not quite where he intended to hit it. And that's glanced away for four by Amir Sohail. Prashant straying and that's four runs. Seven for no wicket. Well, this is the danger when you're bowling... Uh to a field like that, you cannot afford to err in line of length. And moment he pitched on leg stump, so Hale quick to pounce on it. The man had fine leg, is it leg slip? So there's no fine leg, so moment he got some bat on it, it was four runs all the way. So seven for no wicket, Pakistan. Arm is Sohail facing. And he's gotten away down to fine leg. There's no fielder there and it's going to be four runs. The point was that Ravi was trying to make that with that field you've got to bowl to it so that's four more. A very little margin for error when you're bowling to a field like this. You've got to be bowling off stump, outside off stump. You cannot afford to bowl to a player of uh, his ability and quality anything on leg stump. Especially when you don't have a fine leg as the Indians have here. And uh, this is easy picking for Amir Sohail. Parshant now bowling to Saeed Anwar. And that's going to be four runs. What a lovely shot. Bisecting, mid-off and cover. Four runs. Well, he's at his best when he plays shots like that. Saeed Anwar in front of the wicket. And here this one. A glorious cover drive. He's given a little bit of width outside that off stump. He ended up hitting it on the up. It was in the air for a while, but bisected that gap beautifully really this man looking dangerous now good shot beats mid on and it's four very well played Amir Sahail cutting loose here in Sarja that's his third boundary his score moves on to 18 well, that's a beautiful shot this is such a good wicket to bat on. There's very little happening for the bowlers. The bowlers have to bowl a good line and length if they are not accurate. They pitch it a little bit further up and they will get punished. Prashant White, they're finding that international cricket is uh, hard. Amir Sohel and Saeed Anwar making it a little bit difficult for him. Outside off stump in the air. One bat well fielded. Well, that is a difficult one to stop. Just short of a length, it just pitched just short of a length. It was played away on the offside. Have a look at this for fielding. It went short, it's played away well on the onside. That's a very good shot. Amir Sahail whipping that one off his hip. It wasn't really that short. Beautifully executed shot, this one. Well, it just goes to show how good this wicket is. The ball's coming on nice, uh, nicely and at an even height. It is not, as you said, short enough. But Amir Sohel has just pivoted onto the back foot and hit it in front of square. 
That's a very good shot. Oh, that's well played. Now that's that straight shot I was talking about. Running away down towards the fence. And they won't get it. Very good shot. He didn't try and blast that through the offside. Caressed it. Pakistan 52 without loss. So there's that uh, beautiful straight drive down to the fence. The ball bobbling across the south field was hit just firmly enough to roll into the fence. Oh, this will be close. Well, I think that would have been out. So the Indians have missed another opportunity. That's not very good fielding. He really should have hit the stumps there. It is a nice little underarm at the stumps from sideways on. Let's have another look. Yes, that's good work there from Rahul Dravid. Uh, picking it up and having a go at it. And he's missed it just by a fraction. Amir Sohel would have been out by uh, a fair length. the wicket he goes, smash, all the way to the fence, charged him, bold move this was, which worked. Well Saeed Anwar obviously doesn't think too much of uh, Prashant Vaidya, all his space, and he's gone down the wicket to him just like a batsman would go to a spinner. signal from the fielder, it's a four. Well, Saeed Anwar now looking to cut loose. Yeah, this is one of his favorite shots, picked up from outside the off stump, hit over deep mid-wicket. Landing just inside the fence, and then, uh, crossing over. Pakistan have lost their first wicket and there's the Indian support suddenly coming to life. Well, just what the doctor ordered for the Indians. Saeed Anwar playing with the bat away from his body, trying to hit it on the up. Ball sneaking through between bat and pad here as he looks to play across the line and he has his middle stump knocked back. So big breakthrough for India, 77 for one Pakistan. Good delivery. There must have been some movement the way Ramiz played it. Yes, he played a little bit too early, closed the face of the blade. In fact, he gets a thickish outside edge here. There you see looking to play on the onside. And that's down to the third man boundary, four runs. Fifth four for Amir Sohail. Well, this seems to be a quite deliberate shot from Amir Sohail. It was angled outside off stump. And Amir Sohail waited on it, you see here, and then opens the face of his blade at the very last minute. And the man at third man is square and he had no chance of stopping this ball. So, good cricket by Sohail. Very delicately played. in the air and uh, very nicely played it's picked the gap well will it be cut off no it won't well that was very very well played that's his first boundary just gave it a little bit of room to try and beat the mid off fields but Andy succeeded yes and I think the key to that was not only just his timing but the placement as well and that means Raja coming down the wicket finding that gap and seeing that there is a field, uh, field uh, deep uh, but straightish mid off picking up the gap and just beating there. They did get a hand to it, but unfortunately for the Indian side, they didn't manage to stop. It's played away on the onside, and it's a single, so that'll bring up the 100. It's nicely played away again, just a little bit 
short, cut away down towards third man, he'll get there too. Oh, he said it was quite a lush outfield, but uh, the ball certainly carried to the fence all right. If it uh, hit into the gap, it goes all the way. Yes, and I think uh, Neil will say that Amir Sohel, giving himself room and cutting Raju, beating the inside fielder. And as you mentioned, although the ground is uh, pretty lush and heavy, but the ball is travelling. That's one of the good things that has, uh, the rain has done onto this ground. brings up his half century that's very well played Amir Sahail 50 of 63 balls he really has got himself set here he's making a good fist of his uh, role as captain in terms of his own performances very often when you're captain the, the uh, batting or bowling falls off a little bit but Amir Sahail is taking these responsibilities well There's a mix-up, yeah, this is all over, he's got in, got out. Well, at last the Indians have put one together in the field. That was a suicidal run. Ramiz pushed it away on the offside, said yes, his partner said no straight away, and he had no chance. Yes, I think that was a suicidal run, there's no doubt about it. And I'm sure we'll see in the replay that Ramiz, instead of just playing it with a soft hand, pushed it a little bit harder. I mean, started going in there is not even in the frame <laughs> well a very important wicket that one Ramiz out run out 17 of 33 the score 115 for two so Salim Malik is the new batsman 115 for two just over 23 overs have been bowled. Have a look at that record. He's had a lot of experience. 224 matches. And he's averaging about uh, 34. Oh, and he's uh, hit that one behind square. Off the mark straight away. that sweep shot that's beautifully played smashed it away on the leg side that was pitched just outside off stump he played it beautifully all the way along the ground yes not only he timed it to perfection but also the placement was excellent there he is taking it outside the off stump and sweeping it right at the fielder fielding a fine leg And this time going the other way, uh, Salim Malik playing this shot beautifully. Picking this one from outside the off stump and hitting it in front of square for four. Really is intelligent batting, experienced batting. Venkat Pati Raju hands on hips, uh, doesn't know what has hit him. But it really isn't a bad ball at all. Uh, but Salim Malik is a very, very good cricketer, very experienced. He's picked that spot up having played uh, an earlier shot finer and got the fielder to move finer now he's picked that spot up very well and again the sweep shot employed for more runs should pick up two here 10 runs coming off this over 142 for two Pakistan This time played beautifully by Amir Sohail, waiting on it, playing it late, getting the placement right, four runs back with a point, 148 for two Pakistan. Well, once again making a little bit of room and this time Tendulkar uh, fell into that trap, didn't uh, follow the batsman which meant that he had the width and of course this wicket is a very good wicket to bat on this even bounce so Sohil getting another boundary so 63 Lamir Sohil 
He's been there from the very beginning. Salim Malik quickly getting into the act. He's on 19. Another single Malik will have to hurry. Because he is one of the rare Indian fielders to be able to hit the stumps. And at the umpire really had not much of a decision to make. Malik was run out by a fair distance and Pakistan are 156 for three. As in Zamam takes strike to the Indian captain. So this is the time that uh, the Indians can uh, put pressure on the Pakistan batsmen. They've got a new man in. And beautifully played off the stores by Enzo Mahmoud. Four runs the moment it left the bat. Lovely piece of timing. That shot had a lot of class in it. But Mohammad Azaruddin uh, keeping himself on, perhaps hoping that Inzamamul Haq would take a little time to settle down, but Inzamamul is a class act. And square driven this time for another boundary. So the big man getting into the act, another beautiful shot, square of the wicket on the offside. Well, the Indian captain certainly making it easy for uh, Inzamamul Haq to settle down, get his confidence, every batsman to the wicket. When he's new to the wicket, it takes his own time to settle down. And if you're confronted with a top bowler, it takes it even longer. But uh, he's facing part-time bowlers. Ah! Loud shot for a catch, and he's gone! So against the run of play, Tendulkar picking up the wicket of Inza Mahmulhaq as he tries to cut it on the offside. So the Indians coming right back into the game. Four wickets gone for Pakistan, 167 runs on the board. Well, there you are, Tendulkar getting uh, in the mom, putting a little bit more shoulder in that delivery. And the ball hurrying on, beating uh, in the mom's attempted cut. And that's the fourth wicket gone for 167. It's a very valuable wicket for India. Stretched hand of Mungia, the keeper. Four runs is 8 4 and the 200 for Pakistan. Well, just drifting towards leg stump, and Amir Sohail getting a very faint tickle here. See, leg glancing at, and then Mungia throwing himself to his right, unable to gather the ball. Four runs for Sohail. That's a big hit. It's high in the air and it could be a six. We'll have to wait. Yes, it is a six. It went soaring towards the boundary line and at six to a yard. Well, this is six of the very best. An inside out shout here from uh, Ijaz Ahmad. Timing it beautifully and hitting it high over extra cover. Over the line for six. So big blow that for Pakistan. Now the crowd building up here. Davagal Shrinath on his way now. Played away the offside, that's it. Well played, Amir Sahail. Tremendous performance. The Pakistan captain has made a century in Saja and what's more he's played superbly.
Yes, he has. It's hot out there. But Amir Sohel realizing that uh, he has a big responsibility after that uh, collapse in the middle of the uh, innings. Got him. That's one ball. Well, he's trying to back away and smash it on the offside. That's well bowled. Kumbli just following him there and it was hit straight back at him. There's no way in the world Kumbli was going to drop that one. Well, certainly not uh, Kumbli doing the right thing by going round the wicket to the left-hander and following him, cramping the movement of his arms, not allowing him a free hit. And the cramping of the arms resulted in uh, Amir Sohel hitting the ball straight back to Kumbli. A fine innings has come to an end. A captain's innings by Amir Sohel. Pakistan 235-5. That's in the air, it's either over the top or it's going to be caught, it's a big E, it's gone all the way, that's what they needed, that is beautifully struck, straight down to the ground, over the top of the middle of Hughesman's head and into the crowd. Oh yes, Srinath trying to roll a slightly slower delivery, but Rashid Latif had made up his mind that he was really going to have a whack at it, and that's what he's done, he's timed it to perfection and the ball's gone over extra cover. that one straight to extra cover a little fumble there but they'll settle for one yes it's the last hour of the inning so all the fielders are on the edge of the circle they know that the single is going to go the batsmen are going to throw their bats at everything oh and uh, was there a little bit of bat on that one I think there probably was it's gone running down towards uh, the boundary just keep an eye on the umpire here back they come this could be out yes he's got it Oh, he hasn't. What did he do? Well, that was a terrible blunder. Ken Dorker on the wrong side of the stumps for a start and wasn't able to gather and get the bales off. This is good thinking. Sadhu threw it down the other end. Yes, he knew that uh, Ijaj was the one who had called for the third run and uh, Tendulkar actually fumbling with that. He was in two minds whether the ball would hit the stumps directly or not yes that was a strange one he got himself behind the stumps and for some strange reason tried to gather the ball in front of the stumps which uh, wasn't easy it was never is easy and he fumbled it and couldn't get to it it's well bowled third man into the action they'll come back for the second now they've got to run for everything in comes the throw this will be close yes I think he's got him no, he hasn't. A shake of the head. Not even asking for the replay. I thought that was going to be very close. Oh, I got. Well, it would have been, but uh, Naujo thinks Sidhu has had to throw on the uh, up. He's not perfectly balanced. You need to get all your weight on the right position. And very, very clearly home. Good decision. Last ball. Whack! Played away on the offside. In fact, they've got another ball. Now there's uh, one to go. So far, eight runs off the over. And the total, 270. Can they finish off with a big one? The crowd chanting for a six. Up go those little signs they've got out there. Latif on strike. Straight back to Tendulka, gets a hand on it, chasing it. They're going to settle for one. Well, nine runs off that over, and that is the end of the Pakistan innings. 50 overs have been bowled, and Pakistan have taken their score to 271 for five. And here's the Pakistan batting card. A good opening stand of 77 runs. Anwar contributing 44 before he was bowled by Vedya. Skipper Sohail went on to score 105 before he was caught and bowled by Kumble. Towards the end, Ijaz scored 43 and Latif contributed a brisk 21 and helped Pakistan post 271 in 50 overs.
For India, Vedya got one wicket for 55 runs. Kumble took one for 50, but it was Sachin who was the pick of the Indian bowlers with one for 46. So the target for India, 272. When we come back, we'll find out if they managed to get there. Stay with us. Jadeja and Scott strike at the moment and uh, that one really goes swinging away outside off stunt. Wide signal straight away. Well, that's the first one I've really seen move. And again in the air, but way right through the gap and away the fence for four. Beautifully played. Well, so far so good as far as the plan's concerned. That's the first one he could reach and he smashed it. Well, this really is a beautiful shot from Jadeja. Got his front foot right out there to the pitch of the ball and just leaned into that shot and stroked it through the offside. Four runs, moment it left the bat. Lovely timing. Talk about atmosphere, very difficult to hear up in this stand at the moment. Caress through the offside. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's got it. It's out. Tendulkar's out. Put an extra cover. That is a wide ball. Tendulkar's gone off to that wide delivery it hit the bottom of the bat it was a little lollipop catch well the Pakistanis cannot believe their luck this was a wide ball from Akib Javed and Tendulkar going after it getting it right on the toe of the bat and a simple catch to the man at cover Saeed Anwar delighted Pakistan contingent India 8 for 1 Jod Singh Sadhu into the place Tendulkar sensation here in the Pepsi Saja Cup little Sachin Tendulkar out well this is how he went throwing his bat at a wide delivery from Akif Javid getting it right at the bottom and Saeed Anwar delighted Oh, bien play. That's a beautiful shot. That's right off the meat of the bat. He wasn't trying to hit that too hard either. Lovely timing. Very similar to the shot uh, Ajay Jadeja played in the first over to Wakar Yunus. Again, a little bit of width for Navjot Sidhu. Put right out there to the pitch of the ball and there's timing it beautifully through the covers. Oh, good shot. Beautifully played. Well, Jadeja taking that one from outside off stump. I think he almost decided that he wanted the gap straight down the ground at mid-on. Well, they packed the offside. And here Jadeja had chosen his spot, like Tony Gregg said, even before Akib Javid bowled. And uh, four very useful runs. Again, really gave that a spank. In the air and way out of the top. Well, it was so fast, I just got the feeling that the slip was a little late. It certainly would have been a fantastic catch. That's the second boundary. I just have snicked these fingers. Well, Mustaq Ahmad is at second slip, in Zamam at first. Had in Zamam been at second slip, he might just have caught this one as Sidhu flashes at this outside the off stump. Gets the thickish outside edge. And just over his hands there. And that's going to be another four. Beautiful shot there by Sidhu to the extra cover boundary. And in spite of the loss of Tandulkar's wicket, India really fighting back. And this can be termed a good start. 37 for one. And that's a beautiful shot. Four runs. Oh, what a glorious shot there through the covers, matching Sidhu all the way, and it's four runs. Yes, 
you use your correct word, it's a glorious shot. Uh, if the, if uh, Sido hit one of Wakar Yunus, which was on the up, this was uh, a regulation half volley. But even half volleys have to be put away. They've got to be hit hard, all right, but they've got to be placed between the fielders as well. We backs away, he smashed that one. That's a very good shot. Well, Jadeja there decided that time had come for another boundary. He moved his feet before the ball had left the bowler's hand. Backwards it was, and have a look at this. That's right, he got into position before the ball was delivered, and he knew where he was going to hit it. And the ball was right in the slot for him, and there we'll see the full flow of the bat. He didn't even have to run. He didn't even move after hitting that ball, because he knew that he had hit it well. He had hit it at the right place where he wanted to hit it. Four runs. Down the wicket he goes, and this is going to go all the way, is it? Yes, it is. Right over the top. That's well played. Ajay Shadeja is cutting loose. Well, the field placing was perfect. There's no doubt about it. The fielder was there, but the only thing is that Siddhar hit it so well. That uh, sorry, Jadeja hit it so well. He timed it to perfection. And there it is coming down the wicket, picking the ball over the boundary for six runs. Magnificent shot. Down he goes again, it's in the air, this is going to be out. One's too often, got him, yes. That's the end of Tadeja. Went for the big six, got it, decided to try and do the same again. Got a top edge, good bowling by Sir Klain. He does get that ball to spin on. And that's what happened that time. It ended up going straight up in the air. And there it is, the replay. Today they are going for the same shot. And this time Said Anwar taking a comfortable catch. Well, he had to go for it. That's what he was sent out there to do. However, he's out. 76 for two. And he comes and he could be out caught and he's gone. Caught at one off by Akif and the third wicket is down and the Pakistan supporters on their feet. Azhar coming down the wicket and he played straight down the gallop there of the fielder. A wrong choice uh, of the shot to play. Azharuddin has just come into bat. He really isn't well set. The ball turning away from him. There is a fielder at long off. And it's a simple catch to Akib Javed. He doesn't miss those. And India have lost their captain. 89 for 3. Saklan now bowling to Sidhu. And it's up in the air. And he's out. Got no. Sidhu plays it straight back to the bowler. 91 for four. And now India in considerable trouble. Look at the expression of uh, Saklan and he deserves it. He is absolutely delighted. So is the crowd. Once again, very, very well bowled here by the young man. He gets that ball to float away from the right-hander. He pitches it on the middle and off, making the ball batsman feel that he will be able to play it with the turn. The ball doesn't turn, comes on straight. It's a leading edge. A simple catch to him. India 91 for four. Dravid is out, caught behind, the fifth wicket has fallen, 95 for 5, Mushtaq breaks through again. Well, Mushtaq really has been bowling well, he's been bowling more of his leg spinners than the wrong ones. This is a very well tossed up ball, and Rahul Dravid thinking he hadn't played it, but the Pakistanis have absolutely no doubt, just as the umpire had no doubt, India are 95 for 5.
That's going to be a possible six. We'll have to wait for the umpire's signal. It is a six. Magnificent shot there by Mungia. Well, with the singles uh, being blocked by the closing field, Mungia has decided to go for the big one. And he's hit it high and straight. You cannot place a fielder for that kind of a shot. It's very well struck. That brought the 100 up for India, 105 for 5. Oh, well, he's hit that one straight down the ground. Well, that makes it real, really bad because uh, you reckon you've got a wicket, then it gets smashed away for 4. Definitely that's one shot they should play a lot, the sweep shot. That one's been whipped away and that'll get to the fence for 4. That is actually a full toss on next stump. And uh, it would have been easy just to knock it down the ground and uh, concede one to mid on. That sweep shot, I think, probably has got to be played on a regular basis now. Fifty car Ahmed is going to take up the commentary now. He's going to be with Ravi Shastri. India move on to 156 for five. Drake facing Malik, that ball is short and it's going to be six, it is, over mid-wicket. A rank long hop and Mandraker positioned himself beautifully and it's gone for six. Mandraker on 49, gets a full toss and he plays it square of the wicket, Mushtaq running around there, picks it up, returns, Mandraker goes back for the second and that's his 50. A superb innings for Mandraker. What a wonderful knock. Brings a great deal of cheer and heart to the Indian supporters. A fine knock. That's nicely played. They'll get two there. And that brings up his half century. And what's more, that's his first 50 in one day internationals. What played? Yes, indeed. Uh, He's played very well. He's given Mandrake just the kind of support that he needed. In fact, uh, there was a stage when he actually outscored uh, Mandrake. Down the wicket and he's had a go at that one. This might go for four. That's a good shot. Well played. Well, that half century may just give him the sort of confidence he needs. That is a lovely shot. Yes, it really should be a milestone for uh, Nayan Mogia, not the end of the journey. A half century should spur him on to go even further. Got him, straight to the wicket. That's the one they wanted. Then Breaker on 59, trying to stretch that one away on the onside. Got underneath it, not quite enough though. And he hit it straight to mid-wicket. Well, he's played a fine innings for his team, Sanjay Mandrake. Just standing up a little bit, trying to hit it over the infield. And uh, not quite getting hold of it. The ball hitting the inside edge. A simple catch to Sahil Anwar. Mandrake is out for 59. India 211 for 6. was really a poor show by Javagal Srinath. He was probably trying to give uh, Mongia the strike, but there really was no run in it. He was short of the trees, and he had lost another win. 212 for 7. He's had a go with it, got it away to square leg, this will be out, got him, yes, got him, and caught. I'll tell you what, he actually hit that one pretty well. Smash 
it away down towards square leg. And I think uh, that was uh, Akal Aruman who caught that one. He's uh, the substitute fieldsman out there. Well, Anil Kumble has to go for it. The Indian batsmen have to go for it now. They have to get as many runs on the board, although they know that they might not get a victory, considering that they have to look at the run rate to qualify for the finals. They have got to go for it. In that attempt, Kumble is gone. India 219 for eight. Vakar uh, Yunus Yorker, the one that swings into the right-hander. And this is a great delivery for Taylanders. He gets it right on the spot, knocking back the off stump. Too good a delivery for the number 10 batsman, Prashant Vaidya. And India, 229 for 9. He must have got some bat on it. That's well bowled. Six runs off the over, 229 for nine. 43 of 18, they got to go. Whack! Straight past the bowler, that'll get down to the fence and it'll be four. Well, it just needs an over of three of those and three sixes. All of a sudden, things change. Just not too sure, though, that Mongi has got the strength to get him over the fence. He certainly has got the spirit because he's not going to give up without a fight. He's going to go after Mustaq and try and get as many as possible. career best figures 4 for 47 of 9.2 overs that's very well bowled by him and in fact a very good performance this by the Pakistanis sent into bat first they've really done it pretty well yes they have and this is how the Indian innings finished man Mongi are trying to make a little bit of room and try and hit it over the top of cover missing it completely misreading it as well Mustard getting that googly to go through and India all out for 233 in reply to Pakistan's 271 for 5. And here's India's batting thought. Tendulkar departed early, but Jadeja and Sidhu kept up the run chase with 43 and 31 respectively. Then there was a mini collapse where India lost 4 wickets in the space of 19 runs. Rare guard action came in the form of 50s from Manjrekar and Mongia. Then under pressure from a steep required rate, it all fell apart in the end. All out, 233. For Pakistan, it was Mushtaq Ahmad who was the pick of the bowlers. He ended with 4 for 47. Pakistan won by 38 runs. Well, that's all for this week. We'll see you again with another episode of Cricket Classics. Until then, it's goodbye.